How's she going? Mike here. I'm so glad you dropped in today. I've got a little project that I'm working on for the ATV. When I go out on my ATV, I like to take a GPS with me. You never know, just in case, right? Uh, but I find the GPSs these days, the screens are so small, it's hard for an old guy to see them. So I have this 7-inch, old 7-inch tablet uh, that wasn't really doing anything, and it's it still works half ways decent. So I thought I'm going to make, I'm going to download a GPS app for this, and make a mount for this to put on the ATV. So that's what the project's all about today. I'm going to make a mount for my tablet, stick it on the ATV, and see if I can use this for my GPS. Okay, uh, to get this tablet mounted, first things first, I have to find a place to locate it, right? So I was thinking maybe putting it up in here, but then I thought, like, the key is right behind that, so I would be wrestling with the key. I don't want it in the middle because it would block the speedometer. Up here it's kind of up in the way and the left side is getting kind of busy already but and then when I was trying to figure out where to put it I just sort of set it down here so I could get a better look at what was going on up here and I thought oh gee what the heck is wrong with right there. <laughs> uh, this is just a little plastic cap that clips on and if you set that on the same uh, plane as what that cap is it just meets up with the bottom uh, here against this cowling and that's you can see the speedometer good and good access here it's good and solid like for hitting the screen because this is a touch screen unit so I think that's where I'm going to put it right there good idea so a while ago uh, I was trying to make a, a holder for this tablet uh, because I had a program on here uh, for keeping score in darts <laughs> So I made a little holder so I could mount my tablet uh, upstairs beside the dartboard. So here's the little holder I made. <laughs> it's just a little piece of, uh, you know, 3 16 plywood with some edges on it. Uh, so the tablet slides in there. So I don't play darts that much anymore. Or if I do, I just keep scoring the whiteboard instead of on this because, well, for a lot of different reasons. But anyway, that would work good. Look, I could mount that right on there. Wouldn't that be handy? The uh, access for uh, power cord is on the top, so I'd have access to that. Uh, buttons are on the side, that's why I cut this side of it down a little bit lower. So that might be just, just what I need right there. But I think the way I'm going to start off with is I'm going to put a couple of holes in this little cup here in the middle and uh, be able to screw that right in there and then I'm just going to use that to hold the GPS. What do you think? Let's try it. So step one, get this off. Step one complete. <laughs> okay so what I want to do is I want to put a couple of holes in this uh, clip to secure my mount bracket tool, right? So I've marked a couple of spots here so, and I've set up here in the drill press, so I'm going to drill a couple of holes right here. Okay, now we're going to drill a couple of holes. So my bracket, I have these uh, countersunk head screws here, right? Uh, so I need to countersink those so that that'll fit flush, so there'll be no interference there when I slide my tablet in. So there, that fits in there, and it's. Uh, Nice and smooth, if you can see that. Okay, I'm going to use these, uh, they're 5 mil countersink uh, machine screws. Uh, but this one's kind of long, so I have to cut it off. So I like to put the nut on them first. I think I need it about, I don't know, 3 quarters of an inch long. So I put the nut on so that it's below where I'm going to cut. So now I'll cut this off. The idea of putting the nut on first, now when I turn the nut off, I'll 
uh, chase those threads. But before I do that, I'm just going to put it on the grinder and soften up that edge because it's kind of sharp there. So I just put that in the on the grinder just a little bit, just take the edge off that. So now this nut, when it comes back off it, it'll reform those threads. So it's easy to get the nut back on. All right. All right, now we'll assemble this. So I'm going to take one of my screws, put it in here, put my bracket on there with a flat washer, and then a, a lock washer, and then the nut. And then we put the other one in. That better do nicely. Let's go try it on the bike and see how it looks. All right, so there's our bracket. And then I think that's going to be all right, eh? I need something here to keep it from bouncing out, though. I don't know what that might be just yet. Anyway, I like it. Hey, it's sticker time, and look at my sticker board, eh? I'm telling you, boys, I'm getting, I'm so impressed with all these stickers. Every one of these channels is great. And I got another sticker today from another great channel called Ross on the Land. Look at that, Ross on the Land. What a nice sticker, Ross, and he sent me two of them, by the way. Not just one, but two. Two for the price of one. Ross has got a great channel. He's in Ontario, Canada. He's got a Kubota, but anyway, that's okay. He's trying. <laughs> but he's got a nice hunk of property up there in Ontario, and he does a lot of work with his tractor on the property. He's got some pigs and some chickens, and he does a little bit of everything. And it's always fun watching Ross, and I like the way he does his channel. I like his the way he edits, and he always at the end says, and what you do on your land today. So thanks, Ross, for the stickers. He also sent me a little note. He says, hello, Mike and Nanny. I'm constantly inspired after watching your videos. Ah, gee, thanks a lot, Ross. Uh, and I'm glad I stumbled on your channel this year. Looking forward to a fun-filled summer with lots going on at the camp. Cheers, and see you in the next video, Ross. Thanks a lot, Ross, for your nice note and for your nice stickers. So I'm going to put Ross's sticker. I think I'll put Ross's sticker way over here in the corner. So let's get that peeled and put in there. I find when, you, when you're peeling the stickers, you know, if you bite your bottom lip, that helps a lot. <laughs> okay. Get it nice and straight. Ross on the land. It's a really nice channel, and he's growing his channel pretty good. He's getting close to a thousand subs. So get on over there, show him some love, and tell him Grant he sent you. So I'd like to make something to hold my tablet in this bracket. So I'm thinking if I had something that come out here and come up around this edge, you know, to hold it, it might be good. So uh, I went looking through my junk drawer and I found this, it's a piece of spring steel out of an old mattress, a slat out of one of those old mattresses, uh, bed frames I mean. So I cut a piece of that off and I bent the edge. Now usually when you bend the spring steel with that sharp a bend it'll break. Well this stuff didn't, but it's still pretty springy. So I'm going to just put another bend on the top of this, like that, I think. All right, so now I've got this sort of an offset tab like that. All right, so that's what I ended up with for a little clip uh, thingy. I drill a hole in the end of it here. So now uh, this should go on here. Like that, and then my tablet will slide in the front. So let's uh, put this together. We'll put the countersink screw in there. We'll put that on there. We'll put a washer on there. And a lock washer on there, and the nut on here. So I'm thinking then, with that bracket on there, then I should be able to slide my tablet in here, and that clips on the front. 
So that should hold it pretty good. And then when it's time to take it out, you just push down on that and this will slide right out. So I think that's going to work not too bad. So let's put this screw in here. Put this on here. All right. And then this screw in there. A little bit of tightening. Oh yeah. Let's go try it on the bike now. So there's my bracket. It uh, doesn't even look too bad if there's nothing in it. And then I put my uh, tablet in there and it clips in behind this clip. I can still see my speedometer not too bad. If I want to get my tablet out, out she comes so I can take that in the camp if I want to. So I think that's going to be good. Shakes a little but uh, I don't think it's going to come off because that bracket clipped around the handlebar good and solid. So now if I turn this on It'll take about a month of Sundays to light up, but then I need a power cord for it. So what I have is one of these uh, units here that plug into a cigarette lighter, and it's a USB port, right? So I have a 12 volt outlet over here. So I can plug that in there. Then I can plug my USB cable in there. And I can fish that up around here. And then this has room to plug into the top. And then that just plugs into the top. And everything is attached to the handlebars. So all I need is a little bit of slack over here. And it should work good. Let's wrap that around here a bit. Uh, the bike's not on, but if I turn the bike on. It says now charging on AC. So that's good. I can charge it off my bike. Uh, I have to say, uh, the speedometer is a little bit blocked by this, okay? But if I sit, lean forward or something, then I can pick that up to see that, not too bad. Alright, what do you think of that? I, uh, I painted it up red. <laughs> I matched the bike. I think that's going to be alright. You know what though, there's a bit of a glare comes off that screen. So I'm not sure how I'm going to address that. Maybe there's a piece like a mat or something you can get to put over that. Uh, a stick-on thingy to make it less glary. I'm not sure. Anyway, that looks pretty good, eh? Well, that was a quick little project. Getting that little bracket set up there to hold the uh, tablet on the ATV. So now I can flash on my GPS whenever I want it or my trail map or anything like that. I can make trails, follow trails. It's going to be excellent. And also, another thing I like, I just realized, is that tablet has a nice camera on it, so if I go somewhere that's really picturesque, I can stop and take a picture or a video. So, isn't that decent? I like it. I think it turned out alright. I think it's going to work good. What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea? Thumbs up me and let me know in the comments if you do think it's a good idea. In the meantime, folks, stay safe, stay healthy. You know, I like it when you watch my videos, and I like it when you comment, so leave some comments. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.